Hi, my name's Connor Nielsen and my project is on the sustainability of mountain gorillas in Africa. For decades, the mountain gorillas have sadly been on the brink of extinction. These animals have been the victims of uncontrolled hunting, sickness, destruction of habitat and the disgusting ravages of human violence and have since seen their numbers drop to as low as 242 individuals back in 1981 where the species' future was in serious doubt. Since then, with the conservation efforts over the recent decades, their population has risen to 1,063. These efforts have been sufficient enough to have them removed from the IUNC Red List. With there being such a limited amount of mountain gorillas, this has led to 34% of mountain gorillas to inbreed with other genetically related gorillas. Throughout my inquiring, I have discovered that if mountain gorillas were to become extinct, this would affect the natural order of the food chain, as these herbivores eat large amounts of plant-based foods. The extinction of mountain gorillas will have a negative effect on other species in their region, and eventually on the humans' water, food, and other resources that come from their environment. Many species of plant would not grow as vastly or readily in their native territory, and thus other species of herbivores would slowly lose their food source. As a result of food scarcity, many will die of, thus creating a run-on effect for carnivorous species and so on up the food chain. Here is home to the world's largest population of mountain gorillas in Virunga National Park. The mountain gorillas are expected to lose 90% of their habitat by 2035. The reason for such a high percentage of their habitat being lost is due to the 5.8 million humans in North Kivu getting three quarters of their charcoal for electricity, gas and other fuels from the gorillas habitat. In tropical rainforests, the mountain gorillas play a necessary role as they eat fruit, they, eat, they move the seeds around the forest and in doing so enrich the food cycle for different organisms who share their habitat as well as people living around their region who rely on this regrowth to protect their ecosystem. Though conservation efforts are in place throughout the mountain gorilla's habitat, more can be done on the individual level to help the plight of these endangered animals. People need to reduce and minimise the effects of damaging actions like logging, poaching and development. It is also encouraged to boycott products using any endangered animal part as gorillas are often snared by poachers' nets. People can also limit their carbon footprint by being more environmentally conscious in order to ease the climate change effects on the mountain gorilla's environment. It can be understood from the presented discussion that while mountain gorilla population in Africa are critically endangered, it is likely that the mountain gorillas can be saved with conservation efforts like the World Wildlife Fund and other prominent non-profit entities. Current conservation programs have begun to be bountiful. Furthermore, a study recorded a population growth of 26.06% since 2010, giving Africa's mountain gorillas a promising and stable future. Thank you for listening to my presentation and I hope you understand the importance of saving this beautiful species.